Let's go pick a lane. 30 minutes so it's free. Hey, great. That's... Oh, oh, eight soft. Shovel wears brain game. <laughs> Our usual host is off tonight. He was murdered and set on fire while celebrating his birthday. Here in his place, the dancing banana. Nonsense non sequiturs. You can never have too many toasters. Here's all the ones I could find across the whole studio lot. You might need to unplug some of them to get the lights to stop flickering, but you know what they say, all toasters, toast, toast. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know, why did the chicken cross the road? Bogey. Eyes on the prizes. What comic is featured on the back of the comic strip prize? Zoo Pals. A box. Uh, Twenty. Harmonicas. That's. As many. As two boxes <gasps> of ten harmonicas. <sighs> and that's wonderful. <sighs> I'm in terrible pain. A snake just bit me, and its dangerous toxins are now coursing through my veins. What term would you use to describe the aforementioned snake? Monumental landmarks. Uh. 
I'm uh, trying to pawn off a large chunk of limestone. What missing piece of the Great Sphinx of Giza's face should I claim it to be if I want to sell it to a museum? Sports mix. This brand new luxury color TV set. That's right, brand new, made yesterday straight off the farm, minty fresh, <laughs> not taken from my grandmother's estate sale while they weren't looking. This Tony television set can tune into up to six channels. Gather round the tube and soak in the glorious full Technicolor picture that'll have you saying, technically, it's in color. It will also bathe the whole family in copious amounts of radiation, well above the recommended amount. Now that's value. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Ma, I told you not to call me. I'm doing a thing. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, in tennis, what is the word used to describe having zero points, games, or sets? Zoo Pals. With gorgeous bright red plumage and the captivating ability to talk, Polyester the amazing talking parrot will brighten your home with her intelligent turn of phrase. She'll mimic anything she hears. Let's hear a demonstration, shall we? Okay, Polly, is there anything I need to remember? Don't forget to find some prizes quick or I'm fired. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the famous flightless dodo when I next go bird watching. And what's that? There aren't any more? There haven't been for hundreds of years? Oh, what's the word used to describe when the population of a species is completely wiped out? It starts with an E. Nonsense non sequiturs. A new car. What's the point of splashing? Can a match box?
Good enough. Memorable events. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Forty! I like visual questions. Here's one. Look at this image of a famous historical event. What event is this? I'll be in my dressing room if you want an autograph after the show. Bye! Nonsense non sequiturs. Who did this? Laughing crying emoji. Zoo Pals. Here on behalf of Smart Technologies, it's Forty the Talking Smart Board. My contract clearly stated one question per game, but sure, here's another. Take a look at this fur pattern. Which animal does it belong to? Correct! I'll be in my dressing room if you want an autograph after the show. Bye! This charger cord will meet all your phone charging needs, unless you need your phone charged. Featuring an old frayed cable and worn down metal connector piece, this cord is pretty useless. I mean useful, totally useful, definitely worth winning. You did it! You've got the biggest brain of all! We'll see you all next time for another brain-tingling episode of Shovelware's Brain Game! Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Shovelware Foods. If you try hard enough, it's edible.